The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the heavens proclaim God's handiwork. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night declares knowledge. The sun rises like one ready for a wedding, and God makes the sun set in deep joy. God is the creator of all things. Come, worship God who made us all. Welcome to Metropolitan Community Church of Windsor for the 16th Sunday after Pentecost, September 12, 2021. Let not many of you be teachers, my sisters and brothers, knowing that we will receive heavier judgment. For we all stumble in many things. Anyone who doesn't stumble in word is a perfect person, able to bridle the whole body also. Indeed, we put bits into the horses' mouths so that they may obey us, and we guide their whole body. Behold, the ships also, though they are big and driven by fierce winds, are yet guided by a very small rudder, wherever the pilot desires. So the tongue is also a little member and boasts great things. See how a small fire can spread to a huge forest, and the tongue is a fire. The world of iniquity among our members is the tongue, which defiles the whole body and sets on fire the course of nature, and is set on fire by Gehenna. For every kind of animal, bird, creeping thing, and sea creature is tamed and has been tamed by humankind, but nobody can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. With it we bless our God and Creator, and with it we curse those who are created in the image of God. Out of the same mouth comes blessing and cursing. My sisters and brothers, these things ought not to be so. Does a spring send out from the same opening fresh and bitter water? Can a fig tree, my sisters and brothers, yield olives or a vine figs? Thus no spring yields both salt water and fresh water. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, Yahweh my rock and my redeemer. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. Over the years, I've attended a number of seminars and workplace training sessions on the topic of verbal communication, and more specifically, paraverbal communication. The whole pre premise of paraverbal communication can be summed up in that simple catchphrase. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. While I hold this saying to be true, we can't ignore the power of the words themselves. In today's age of social media, where your thoughts and actions can be instantly shared with people around the world, the power of the word, spoken or written, is stronger than ever. As followers of the way of Jesus, this is an amazing opportunity and a sobering responsibility. What we say can affect what others do. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but names can never hurt me. Oh, really? Where shall I begin? I was going to start reciting a list of epithets that are frequently said, often shouted to others. And I quickly changed my mind. The words I was going to say, and you can probably come up with your own list without my help, have power. They hurt. They kill. And yet our words can also soothe and heal. They can uplift. They can, if we let them, change the world. 
Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Yahweh, my rock and my redeemer. Choose your words wisely in all God's many and wonderful names. Amen. Amen. We invite the Spirit of God to blow through our lives and our world as we pray about the needs that surround us. Your Spirit's touch brings life, O oh God, and we are thankful. We pray for those who have lost faith, for those who have come ungrounded in their lives, who see nothing but hopelessness around them, who feel distant from you, O oh God. Your Spirit's touch brings life, O oh God, and we are thankful. We pray for those who face challenge, for those whose health is failing them, who find money to be an obstacle, who suffer oppression and injustice. Your Spirit's touch brings life, O oh God, and we are thankful. We pray for those who live apart from you, for those who do not show love freely and abundantly, who act selfishly, who hurt others by their actions or inaction. Your Spirit's touch brings life, O oh God, and we are thankful. Spirit of God, fill this world with your compassion. Pour your love upon it. Light it up with your power. This was Jesus' vision that he taught us to pray about, and we pray about now, saying, O oh God, our divine parent, may your presence be ever revered. May your peace and justice dwell among us. May your love and compassion live within and between us. Nourish us daily with the necessities for life, sustenance for our bodies, and inspiration for our spirits. May the forgiveness we give be that which we receive. The kindness we show be that which we perceive. Lead us on virtuous paths and dust distance us from evil. For your world is our world and you and your reign is our reign. Then, now, and always, may it be so. God is with us. Let us lift up our hearts. Yes, lift them up to God. Let us pray. Most loving God, we know that you are with us no matter where we are, no matter how we come together. We remember now how you took the bread, blessed it after the manner of your people, broke it and gave it to everyone there saying, this is my body given for you. We remember too how after the meal, you took the cup and blessed it too after the manner of your people and gave it to your friends saying, this is my love, my life, poured out for you and for everyone. Whenever you do these things, remember me. And we remember too the mystery of our faith, that Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Loving God, we give thanks for the opportunity to meet, for we know that whenever two or more gather in your name, even virtually, you are with us. Be with us now as we wait out this trying time so that when we can go back outside, when we can get back together, we can be your love and your light in a world that so desperately needs it. In all your many and wonderful names. Amen. Thank you for joining us again today. As you may have noticed, our location has changed. We're no longer live from my, well, live to tape from my studio bedroom in Windsor, Ontario. We are now in the Grace Chapel of, of Emmanuel United Church. Thank you again. Your support your thoughts, your prayers, your clicking on the like and subscribe buttons below, and of course your financial contributions. All are appreciated. 
as they enable us to continue this ministry. We hopefully will be able to resume live, in-person worship from this very spot. But until that time, may the God who has created us, Christ who saves us, and the Holy Spirit, our comfort and our strength, be with us all until we can meet again. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen.